Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. After this, the next reading I do is the Scorpio six months from now, but keep in mind that a lot can change in six months. But this is just what I am seeing in six months, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But this one in particular is for the month of March. So what do we have for Scorpio? I don't know what's going on, but I think that you are full of it, Scorpio. I think you got this fire inside of you and you're about ready to explode. Um, maybe you have met your match. I don't know. I see the Ace of Wands. It's an exciting time. There's fertility. There's growth. Um, when you get the Ace of Wands, it means just go for it. Just whatever it is, it's, t it's, it's a fresh start. It's exciting. There could be a new sexual partner here if you are single. Maybe even if you're not, the Ace of Wands is very, very attractive. It's like, and it's something sudden. So there could be a sudden attraction or a sudden new drive or a sudden new vision, okay? Because it's an, it's an exciting time for growth, whatever this is about. Fertility. I'm telling you what, amazing. I mean, it is. It's definitely an exciting time for growth. It's a very fertile time. You know, somebody could get pregnant. Just saying. This is um, birth of a new life, okay? This is a rebirth. This is unconditional love. Some of you may be dealing, be coming together or dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but this is birthing a new life. It's delivery time. It's a, a miracle, okay? This is getting a miracle, getting a blessing. So it's the birth of something new. When you get the Empress, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, this is love. It's heartfelt. It's caring. It's nurturing. It's being loved and being cared for by somebody. Or this could be you offering love, taking care of somebody. Either way, it's a very fertile time. Okay? No joke. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Forgiveness. Ooh, now that is a good one now, isn't it? I'm going to try to get it to zoom in for you. There we go. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past. Is it, is it unfocusing in and out? It is, isn't it? Anyway, nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. You got a beautiful opportunity here. That's what I got to say about this. You have a beautiful opportunity um, don't squander it with holding a grudge or not forgiving or holding on to the past. Pain, okay, the past pain, okay, it's time to deliver that pain. It's time to release that pain. It's time to forgive because you have an opportunity for a new life. This is giving birth to a new life. I see unconditional love, right? I mean, that's what I see. Unconditional love. Oh, the Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. You're definitely tempted, right? This is the devil card. There's temptation here. There could be some unhealthy things that are going on. We have somebody that is chained, okay? These people are chained, and it's not healthy. It's not healthy. I feel like uh, now this is hell. This is hell. Somebody has been in hell. Seven of Cups. Be careful of false beginnings. Be careful with your choices. What you own, owns you. Three of Pentacles reversed. This is uh, not working out. There could be a relationship that is not on the same page. There's uh, time to refocus. There's a lack of respect. I think that you have options, Scorpio. You have options in March. This is options. There's somebody that you are dealing with does not respect you. 
Okay, You're, they're not on the same page as you and it's toxic and it's unhealthy, but there's some sort of pull, right? There's some sort of pull. It's it's like maybe it gives you some sort of instant gratification, you know, it makes you feel really good. And now you're in a state of hell. Okay, felt good for a minute. Felt good for a period of time. Now you're chained to it. Okay, so this is toxic, unhealthy situation, the devil. Okay, you're tied to a situation that is um, giving you some sort of gratification. But it's an obsession. It's lust. It's greed. It's ego. Um, it could even lead to, it could lead to death. Okay, this is a bondage. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. That is the meaning of this card. So choose another option. Choose something better. Choose something, you know... more emotionally fulfilling because the next card is the eight of cups i see that you've been focusing on the past it's clear it's clear nothing can be gained by holding on to the past disappointments let it go let it go it didn't work out it's a very fertile time for you to receive something better so anyway, I feel like you are going to be presented with a choice. You probably are. You're probably Maybe you're confused. This is a state of confusion. Maybe you're still hanging on to the past disappointments. You're hanging on to something in the past, obviously. Maybe it's just resentment. It could be resentment. But this is uh, not on the same page with somebody. The Three of Pentacles reversed. There's lack of harmony with others. Mentally trapped. Somebody is trapped. Trapped in fear. Trapped in a situation. Staying in a situation. Lying to themselves. Somebody's lying to themselves. Knight of Swords reversed. Totally. Totally lying to themselves. Deceiving. Self-deception here. There could be some mental issues, like uh, not seeing a situation clearly. This is somebody who blames everybody, somebody that is insincere, somebody that may have some mental health issues. I don't know who it is. This is somebody who acts recklessly, somebody this is a know-it-all. This is somebody that is clueless. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person may have some mental health issues. Always looking for a fight. You also could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is self-righteous. Okay, this person is self-righteous. This person is a definite know-it-all in reversed. Um, lacks self-confidence. Self -confidence. Very forceful. Uh, malicious. This person says things without thinking, acts maliciously, is very jealous, nasty, uh, revengeful and manipulative, controlling, unhealthy. So you got, I don't know who this is, but we got somebody here that is, is, uh, lacks respect and tries to force themselves. It's like so they're trying to force themselves onto you. And this could go vice versa. This is somebody who is trying to force themselves. Or somebody that is just so jealous and melodramatic that they gossip. This is a malicious gossip. You could be dealing with a malicious gossip who speaks out their ass. And it's slander. They could be, there could be some slander here. They don't even know what they're saying. They're clueless. And they're causing you problems. And for some reason you're stuck on this person. It's either an air sign or a fire sign. There's an opportunity to break free, though. There is an opportunity to break free. What the hell is this? Oh, there's ten. Of, that's the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Justice reversed. The Chariot reversed. And the Seven of Wands. So this is a battle. Okay, so you're battling. You're up against... 
some sort of competition. You're dealing with some competition. You're, you've got a lot of things on your plate. You've got too many irons in the fire by the looks of things in March. There could be an outburst. There could be an emotional outburst with the chair reversed. I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancer or a Libra. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Libra or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there's been some sort of lie. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's been an injustice here. Somebody really has not been telling the truth, the truth with the Justice card. And there is some bad luck or bad karma. Whoever has been lying, whether it's you or this other person, somebody is going to get a run of, they're going to have a setback, okay? With the Feel of Fortune reverse and the Justice reverse, there's going to be a setback. And it's karma-based, okay? There's definitely some bad shit here, okay? There is, because there just, there is. I'm sorry. There, yeah, it is what it is. But through pain... The, um, through pain, because the Empress has to feel pain to get a blessing. So yes, there's going to be something painful. Now, there could be a fight. There could be a fight. There could, there could be fighting addictions, but this is a fight. This is, this is a full-scale battle. You're on top. You're still on top. Something needs to come to a stop, okay? I feel like there's some lies, there's been some deception, somebody has been dishonest, and it is going to come to a stop, okay? It is going to come to a stop. It's probably going to come to a dead halt. The, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is life is always changing, okay? Something could be coming back from the dead to haunt you, okay? This is your past mistakes coming back to haunt you. And I don't know who these people are. Or this person is. Could be one person taking on these energies. Could be some karma from the past that is coming back to haunt you or to haunt them. Because this can go vice versa. There is definitely some karma here. And it is, does have to do with the past. With the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the, and the Justice reversed. Okay. This is unfair. And you may be saying that this is unfair. Somebody could end up, you know, in jail. I'm not sure who. Could be you, could be the other person, but you notice this person gets tied up. You know, you sometimes I would consider almost like handcuffs. There could be some handcuffs. Now this is uh be careful what you choose. Okay, be careful with your choices. So there's some sort of illusion here. Somebody in this fantasy. Seven of Cups is fantasy and illusion. And and so I feel like we have somebody here that has been living in some sort of illusion. And there definitely could be some addictions that are clouding their thoughts. Okay. Not making them see clearly. To, causing them to stay in an unhealthy situation. And it could be even an, an obsession to a person. People get in fantasy land and they get obsessed. So I feel like there's some sort of obsession here to a person that is toxic and unhealthy. I feel like there's been some unfair treatment. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Um, there could be another woman. If, if you, there's another woman here. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person doesn't care who they hurt. Okay, doesn't care who they hurt. They're in it for themselves. They're very selfish, very self-centered. So they they may even know that 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 somebody is in a commitment and they don't care. They don't care. So there could be another person that is very, you know, I'm so beautiful. I need attention and I don't care. This is your third party who doesn't care. Doesn't care, okay? So this is a run of bad luck. Um, somebody that keeps repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. So they're repeating their karma. You know, you have to know your value. You, she knows her value. The Empress is the queen of all queens. She learns her value, but she doesn't learn it from easily. Okay. The Empress learns uh, to become the Empress. She learns her value. She is the queen of value. She really is. She learns her value through pain. Okay, so it feels as though if you are the feminine watching this, you are you are becoming the empress through pain. I do feel like there's another woman with whoever you're dealing with. I feel like if you are the woman watching this, your man may be having sex with another woman. Okay, and I think maybe you know that. Maybe that's the case. If you are the masculine watching this, you may be coming together with this empress 
And you got to let go of the past. You have to let go of this past. You have to. It was toxic. It was unhealthy. This person in, the, in your past had mental health issues of some sort by the looks of things. And, and they may be give, giving you headaches, okay, and saying things about you that aren't true. To hell with them, okay? They're going to get their karma. Somebody is going to get their karma here, okay? Somebody is, and it ain't good. It's not good karma. I feel like there's going to be an emotional outburst. Okay, somebody's not going to be able to master their emotions. Okay, with the with the chair reverse, there's lack of control. Okay, there's emotions all over the place. There's a disaster ahead or an emotional outburst ahead. There could be some anger. Okay, there's there, I think there's going to be a fight of some sort. Um, there's an element of hell, okay? The devil is from hell. This, this is this is this is hell, this, but this is coming to a, a stop. It's coming to a stop. So something is coming to a stop. There's an opportunity for a new life here, the birth of a new life. So it's a very fertile time. Choose wisely who you give your energy to, okay? I feel like this month there's gonna be. I mean, the wheel of fortune reverse is a loss. Okay, it's a shocking, unpredictable loss because somebody has been repeating their negative, repetitive patterns. Okay, now they're going to experience a setback because they're refusing to change. They're refusing to evolve. They're refusing to be honest. They're refusing to move forward. They're refusing to get in the driver's seat. They're refusing to let go. They're refusing to stop fighting. They're refusing to break free from a toxic situation. They're refusing to forgive. They're refusing to accept the truth. So I, yeah, I feel like you have options this month and you're going to need to make some sort of choice. Do you want to continue to stay where you are at where there's no success? Because there's no success here. I don't care what anybody says. There's not. And be, it's because there's another person involved. Okay, but there's denial. Okay, there is some sort of denial here. I don't want to believe it. I choose to be in fantasy land. Or do you want to move into something where there's unconditional love? That's your choice. So I feel like this month you are going to be battling with somebody. I do feel like you're going to be battling. You're going to be battling with somebody that you are connected to karmically. This is a karmic connection. Okay, so I feel like you need to break these bonds and you need to break free from this and you need to stop. You need to stop. Like, stop sign. Stop. Stop giving this person your, your time and your energy. You are beautiful. Okay, you are beautiful. And if you are the masculine, you have a beautiful opportunity here. This is somebody that will take care of you. Okay, and if you are the feminine, you, ha you are valuable. Know your value. Know your value. So, I think in March you're going to be presented with an option to break free. And I to break free from somebody that is toxic and unhealthy. They may be very um, attractive for some reason. You're very pulled towards this person. But this person, there's no long term anything with this person. And you have an opportunity. I know that you do. One more card for March. A setback. You're going to be experiencing a setback because of karma. It's a karmic thing. You can't keep repeating the same mistakes over and 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 over again. There's so much stubbornness here. temperance it's time to evolve temperance is an exchange it is exchanging one something for something better the temperance card is comes after the death card okay so there's something that needs to end you know what it is you do it's time for you to allow and accept change you have something better have you learned the lesson yet or not? Everything happens for a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. 
whoever this person is that was in your life that you were so obsessed with or so tied to or they were obsessed with you however it is it's time to break that it's time to you've learned your lesson haven't you because the temperance is a card about learning lessons it's time to compromise and blend to create harmony in your life harmony and peace instead of disharmony instead of allowing yourself to be disrespected by a partner that is with another person that is the ultimate disrespect The, t the tower is the card that represents the journey of life and the lessons that we learn along the way. You have to stay true to yourself. It's a time of change. It's a, you, Whatever has happened has changed you. So, Scorpio, I feel like you are about to experience or you're going through some sort of painful hell. And you're about to deliver this pain and release it and step into a new life. I think this month is your month of deliverance. And a blessing is coming. But you got to deal with this pain and you got to release it like once and for all. It's overdue. Good luck.